So the whole concept here is to optimize your landing page to ultimately increase sales and conversions. So the problem now is that you have no way of knowing which copy actually works and converts on your landing page, and it's really not easy to test that. So this tool offers you a way to get suggestions for copy that actually works for your landing page, and it makes sure that the best copy is being presented to your audience. So it's really incredible and in this video I'll show you an overview of how it all works. So first you're going to copy and paste a link to your website right here and then you're going to hit import. Alright so anywhere it has imported the information from your website, just check it over to make sure it's accurate and then you're going to hit create project. So for this example we used our website anywhere.com and you'll see here that anywhere has pulled the four main assets from our website and these assets are the most important when it comes to conversions. But if you find that anywhere hasn't pulled all of the assets that you want to include, you can continue to add assets from your websites by just hitting add more assets here. And you'll see all of these other assets from your website that you can continue to include as well. And although your website may have a ton of text and you can include as many assets from your website as you want, we really recommend focusing on those main assets that drive conversions for this campaign. All right, so let's dive into this first asset here, which is our headline on our website. So I'm gonna hit generate more and you can also add your own as well right here. And now you can generate other copy variations for your headline to test them out. So for this one, I'll hit more engaging and I'm going to hit generate. Awesome. So here are some of the copy variations that the AI generated for us. And if you want to see how any of these copy variations will look on your website, you're just going to hit preview and edit right here and you'll see exactly how your copy variation looks on your website. You'll also notice these predictive performance scores right here, which lets you know how well this copy would perform. With the copy variations that you want to include in your campaign, you're just going to hit add to campaign right here. So I want to include this first one, and I also like this third variation, so I'm going to add this one to the campaign as well. Awesome, so here you'll see the three copy variations for our headline right here. And now if we want to include the headline asset in our campaign, you're just going to make sure the asset is enabled right here. Alright, so you'll see here that I've added more copy variations for each of my assets right here, and I've included them all in the campaign. Now in running a campaign, AnyWord is going to show your visitors different versions and different combinations of text on your website. Once you're happy with all of the assets and copy variations that you want to run in your campaign, you're just going to hit go to project settings right here. Now you're going to choose what percentage of traffic to your website do you want to participate in your campaign. So we have percentage of traffic for AnyWord versus baseline. Baseline refers to your original website as is. So here I'm choosing to run the campaign for 80% of my website visitors. All right, next you're going to decide on what constitutes as a conversion. To optimize your conversions, this could be a destination URL, which is a specific link you want your visitors to get to, or it can be a CTA button, and you can select as many of these CTAs that you want to include in your campaign. And now you're just going to set it up on your site. So if you hit copy to clipboard right here, and then you're going to go to your website and paste it into your website, and then once you do that, you hit verify setup and anywhere will verify that it was done properly. All right, once your campaign is verified, you are good to go and we are running this campaign. All right, now I just want to show you how to read the data once you run your campaign for some time. So this is a campaign that we've been running and you can already see that the difference compared to our baseline conversion rate is already an uplift of 5.62%. All right, now if you want to see how each asset is performing, you're just going to go back here to manage copy variations. So this first one that's in bold represents your baseline copy and this column right here gives you data on conversions versus visitors. So in real time, AnyWord is picking up data on which copy variations and the placement on your landing page are converting the best and therefore they will show those best converting conversions more to your visitors. And you'll also see data in these columns right here regarding the expected conversion rate of each of these copy variations, as well as each of their probability to be the best. And if there's a copy variation that you no longer want to include in your campaign, you're just going to hit pause right here and it'll stop including that copy variation in your campaign. And keep in mind that at any point during your campaign, you can also generate more copy variations and include them in your campaign or add your own copy variation right here and include that in your campaign. And that's it. Enjoy an increase in conversions on your landing page.